guys, the start of stage three uh, was pretty interesting. We kind of came up with a new tactic somewhat, which was to mark riders more. It wasn't a fully developed tactic, which we'll, we'll see later on in the in the race. Um, but yeah, basically the plan was to let like a group of three or four up the road, everyone else chase. Uh, and we said if there's a group of 20, we have to be in it. Um, so that was kind of my job. Uh, and the early part of the stage was just following moves um, and getting in the early break, which I managed to do. Day marks a momentous day in Tour of Albania and that fact that I didn't puncture. So a uh, big win for me, got in the break, rolled a top 10, mega. First top 10 at UCI, so pretty content. Um, it was like, uh, basically, hand flat. I didn't know work because we were leading GC. So I just sit, sat there all day, got some abuse. Um, and then last like 10, 20K, maybe 20K, people started attacking. But the thing is with it was like, it was such a quick road. We were in that 48, 50K an hour. So there was just no way we were getting away. And then there were a lot of teams. So the combination of having like Azerbaijani, Greek, Turkish, and um, Serbian meant it, it, nothing really happened. So I just tried to have the best position possible in the in the sprint. Um, I got tailed off slightly. I didn't. I wasn't as far forward as I'd hoped I would be. Um, but nonetheless, pretty buzzing about it. So yeah, off to off to the beach today. We're in Dore, which is a, a seaside town in Albania. Um, so yeah, kept the jersey, rolled a top ten. No puncture. Light is good. So the start of stage four was interesting. We decided that trying to control the race was a disaster. Um, and so we actually messaged um, one of Max's friends who was a DS4 World Tour team. And he was like, what you need to do is do zero work and let the race pan out as long as possible. Soft break go. Um, and then basically ride on the front to bring it like within control for GC and then let everyone else do the work. So we thought that was a good idea. However, we also thought that a better way to play it was actually just to man mark people. So there were five people within um, a minute of Max's lead. So what happened is everyone had one person, Max had two um, to follow. So I had an Azerbaijani um, who I just followed. He was number 61, I think. Um, and he, yeah, I just followed him all day, every day. Uh, sorry, the whole day. And what happens though is that when no team rides on the front is that everyone attacks. So everyone obviously was attacking left, right and center. But when you're third in GC and you see second in GC go up the road, you then mark it. So in reality, we actually had very little to do because the race kind of panned out exactly how we wanted. There's about 40k nuclear attacks, people just going mental, like full on sprint and then just exploding by the side of the road because they ran out of gas. Uh, and then three people rolled off the front, which was mega. And then after that, we basically didn't have to do any work. Uh, a Greek team took it up and started riding. Then some other people did. Then there were some attacks. And then Max said, right, boys, let's just ride like 230, 240, calm everyone down. So that's what we did. We didn't really want to bring the gap back because they had like six, seven minutes uh, like behind on GC. So we could li leave them a massive gap. However, they weren't really that strong. So when we started riding like 260, we were bringing them back, which were, kind of wasn't ideal. Uh, then we went to a climb, uh, which I got dropped, which was fine, but got back on because uh, it was just a really straight descent. I only got dropped kind of the last two minutes. Um, and then the hail started. Stage four, done. Too much rain, as we can see here. Uh, thunderstorms, they just cancel the stage. So mega for us means Max still in the jersey. Um, tough day out to be honest, got spat on the climb, but got back on, had a tough day, just hacking along on the front. But yeah, never seen rain so bad to be honest. And uh, yeah, everyone wanted the stage canceled. I think we were happy to ride it, but in the end, it is what it is.
Right, so here we are in Perma. It's actually pretty nice. One could say the Albanian Alps is here. Um, anyway, last day, very exciting. Can we win the Tour of Albania? First British winners ever would be mega. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, today, first 40, 50K we saw in the car yesterday when we drove it because the stage was canceled. It looks very hilly. It's like lumpy, UK style, narrow. So it will be hard to control. Then it goes on a climb that we did yesterday where we descended it. It's like 4K, 5% is the hard part, but it's some drags before. Then it's basically pan flat. So man marking again. Uh, I got Azerbaijani, number 11, just literally follow him around. If he goes in a move, follow him. Um, ten, tends to crack their confidence pretty big. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully Max can stuzz him on the climb and then it'll come back together and we'll just uh, do the same thing to the finish. And then hopefully keep the jersey. Um, Max is four seconds over Christian Rayanu, who's in second place. Um, so yeah, and then everyone else is a little bit behind eight seconds and then like 20, 30 seconds. So yeah. Fingers crossed it all goes well um, and we can win the tour of Albania overall. And 31 seconds. But uh, if you don't get speed, stay man, they go on the door, do the minimum that do the new second. So last day was actually extremely not stress-free. The early roads being super narrow and hilly were like tough. We managed to control it okay. Then the Rayanu's team went absolutely nuclear trying to drop Max early on. That didn't work. Luckily, a break went, which mopped up the first bonus seconds so and no stress. Then we started to ride um, quite hard, actually, because there was someone who was only a minute and a half down on GC. So we really had to whack it hard. Then on the climb, I really messed it up. I went quite deep into the bottom of it to like pull for Max, but went too deep. Oh, my limit. It kind of exploded. And then all groups went past, basically, except like maybe 10 people. And I was riding okay, like I was then pegging the group ahead of me, but I just couldn't couldn't get like onto them. So then I, it took me so long, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get back. Meantime, Max, Eugene and uh, Carl, who were whacking it before, just could not bring the gap down. The gap, we were doing like 46, 47k an hour. I think the people ahead of us were behind a car or something, like not a meter behind, but there were just cars in front of them. And we had no one in front of us at all, like no police or anything. Maybe police were like motorbikes like 100 meters away. So we were going so hard and just barely bringing it back. And that was big panic stations because they were, we were riding full and the gap was barely coming down. And I was like, there's only four of us riding. We got a couple others to help, but it was real touch and go. Then we finally did get them pretty close. And then the Greeks launched someone and that was big stress. I was absolutely bad at this point. Um, like, and the Greek guy was maybe 20, 30 seconds behind Max and he had a teammate up the road and we were like, if this he if he gets across, it could be game over. There was only like 5K left, but it was still a big panic. Um, and then everyone was cooked. I managed to come to the front for like one turn, did like 40 seconds, 450 watts, as hard as I could go. Um, and then that was literally me done. Max then attacked across, got back to the Greek guy. Uh, and then Rayanu, who's four seconds down and put an attack in, pulled his wheel, no stress, like not coming in. And then it was a downhill finish, so it was all, all okay. But I would say a lot of stress towards the end, but Max, like he just is kind of the best rider in the race by quite a long way. Like pulling so strong on the flat and the and on the climbs was okay. So in the end, uh, it was not too stressful to hold the lead. Um, but yeah, super happy with the race overall. Top 10 for me, win overall with Max is super, super good. Obviously a bit of a shame I crashed on the first day. Um, but this stuff happens. But anyway, uh, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. Uh, it's a bit of a taking some time to get this video out, but I'm going to have a lot of videos from Mauritius coming out in the next week uh, because that was a pretty mega race as well.